Today should be a glorious day for Nintendo fans. The Super Nintendo Classic Edition released. Golf Story just released yesterday. We're on the tail end of 18 new games releasing for the Switch. We just had this positive news in a video you can watch up here uh, that was all about how Switch's software situation in year one is breaking records for Nintendo systems. And everything seems to generally be going well for Nintendo. It doesn't mean there hasn't been issues, you know, with their voice chat, even though they did patch some things with that. Uh, still some issues with communication on Switch. And everything's not perfect, but... This has been a very, very good year for Nintendo, especially for Nintendo Switch. But Nintendo couldn't just let sleeping dogs lie. They had to do something today that can directly affect us, potentially. And it's going to affect all Nintendo content creators, and it's going to affect you guys as well. Let me read this little email that I printed off. Uh, I might throw up a screenshot of it. Of what Nintendo sent me this morning. Then this is an update on the Nintendo Creators Program, something we haven't talked a lot about. Uh, it says, thank you for using the Nintendo's Creator Program. We have updated the Nintendo's Creator Program user guide with information on how revenue generated during live stream broadcasts on YouTube will be handled in the Nintendo Creators Program. Live streaming on YouTube falls outside of the scope of the Nintendo Creators Program. This means that you cannot broadcast content on YouTube Live from the account you have registered to the Nintendo Creators Program. Please check the user guide for details. Thank you for your ongoing support of the Nintendo Creators Program. As YouTube continues to evolve, we will work to provide you timely information to help you manage your account with the Nintendo Creators Program. In short, Nintendo is saying that if you use their Creators Program, which a lot of YouTubers do, uh, because we don't have a choice, really. Uh, There's some of my videos that have been ran through that creator's program that you cannot live stream Nintendo games on YouTube. That's what they're saying. As for what the punishments are, they infer uh, that uh, the fact that you cannot do it means, one, you can get kicked out of the Nintendo creator's program, which would take all your revenue away from all the videos that you have registered through it. And two, they could go as far as to get your account shut down for, for going against this. Because, again, Nintendo does own all the, the copyrights and all the legal rights to the games. So if they do not want you live streaming it, uh, they can shut it down. Now, this obviously, some of this might be in response to the PewDiePie situation where uh, the developers of a particular indie game went after PewDiePie because of uh, how their feelings on how he's been acting. And we're going to uh, take away DMCA claim all his videos on that game um, and try to get it so PewDiePie could no longer live stream that game as well. And they had every legal right to do that. But Nintendo's doing this blanket thing. They're not targeting an individual YouTuber that's causing problems. They're targeting every single Nintendo YouTuber that exists. Because all of us, at one point or another, are probably using the Creators Program. And, even, and if we're not using the Creators Program, Nintendo's claiming our content anyways. And so yeah, basically Nintendo is saying, sorry, you live stream our games, we can get your account shut down on YouTube. That's what the, this all boils down to. You could say I'm overreacting, but I'm really not because this is what it means when, when Nintendo puts out a blanket statement saying you literally cannot use uh, our games in live streams. That That's what it means. It, it means that they will. The, the only way to, to prevent you from doing that is to take action against your channel. And that's just, oh, man. Is that so frustrating as a content creator? And for some people, this might not matter. That just means uh, Nintendo does clarify in their FAQ uh, that you could, that this only applies to YouTube. So you know, if you're a YouTuber, you can just push your audience over to Twitch and you can live stream on Twitch. But there's also this caveat that since obviously uh, streaming on YouTube has gotten more popular, uh, YouTube itself, I actually find YouTube's uh, streaming platform better than Twitch's. Uh, you can stream at higher quality. Users don't have to subscribe to you, or you don't have to have so many subs on your thing uh, to make users be able to select quality. So, like, I could stream at 1080p, but if you can only watch at 480p, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, Twitch is kind of uh, a stickler about that kind of thing. So, like, I, I can't really stream at 1080p on Twitch uh, because there's a lot of people that won't be able to actually uh, stream my stream, which is a problem. Uh, Twitch itself has some issues, but Twitch is a great platform. I got nothing against Twitch, but there's also this, the reason that I think YouTube streaming is really blown up is that you don't have to divide your audience for your content delivery, right? 
Uh, I want to still live stream games for you. I still want to create all these videos that I do, but I don't want to have to. I, I can stream to Twitch. I have streamed to Twitch in the past, but I don't want to have to tell my YouTube audience, hey, look, I'm live streaming. You want to live stream? I got to make a quick video here and tell you, hey, go over to our Twitch channel tonight and watch this live stream. I don't want to have to do that. I shouldn't have to do that. I should be able to stream right here on the same platform that I'm putting videos up on. And YouTube lets you do that. Nintendo's taking your right to do that away. So... Obviously, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for us? What does that mean for our live streams? Well, I'm still going to try to live stream. I don't know what Nintendo's going to do. I don't know if they're going to shut down my channel. Uh, you know, I'm going through this. It says that they updated Nintendo's Creators Program User Guide. So maybe if I stop using the Nintendo Creators Program, this will no longer apply to me. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I never really officially joined the Creators Program. I've only submitted individ individual videos into it. So I have used it. I rarely use it. If anything, I try to create content that works around the creators program so I don't need to use it so I can just you know deal with all the revenue side of things on my own. I don't really know what's going to happen. All I know is me, as a content creator, I'm going to continue streaming Nintendo games right here on YouTube until Nintendo does something to my account um, that makes me not able to do that anymore. And I really hope that doesn't happen. And the thing is, this affects people Nintendo even works with, right? Nintendo works with content creators like CND and, you know, Lamar Wilson. And if they live stream Nintendo games now, they could, you know, in theory, have their channel get shut down. Now, is Nintendo going to go as far as to affect people that they like to directly work with? Probably not. They, they probably have uh, those kind of content creators, even Game Explain, um, on a white list where they can pretty much do whatever they want. I mean, we see Game Explain upload video game trailers, which Nintendo definitely doesn't want you to do. Uh, but again, if you make it to that white list, you could do whatever, basically. Uh, you're an ambassador for Nintendo at that point. We're not a Nintendo ambassador. We're Nintendo fans here at Nintendo Prime. And when they make policies like this, it just infuriates me as a content creator. It, Nintendo, it, it, the creator's program is bad enough, uh, mostly because even if I wanted to abide by it, like if, if, I, if I cancel my contract with BBTV and just join the Nintendo creator's program full time, I can only do the games that they, they let me do. I can't, I can't talk, well, I can talk about, but I can't show gameplay of any games that aren't on the whitelist, which by the way, a majority of Nintendo's classic library of games are not on the whitelist. So I wouldn't be able to show you most of Nintendo's content over the years. That sucks. Even some of their new content, I can't show you. I wouldn't be able to show you uh, things like from Ubisoft or all these third party companies uh, without Nintendo taking money from it. And does Nintendo have any right to those videos? No, but they would if I fully joined the Nintendo's creator program. Anything I created that didn't have Nintendo gameplay, Nintendo would also take a 30% cut, uh, which, by the way, is worse than my contract with BBTV. And BBTV, uh, they give me stuff in return, right? Nintendo's creator program is a program that they just uh, allow you, they allow you to make revenue. Uh, that's all Nintendo Creators Program. It doesn't give you access to games. It doesn't give you any other benefits other than we will revenue share with you. We will allow you to use gameplay footage. And if you fully join our our, our program and make it so every video is, you know, under falls under the Creator Program thing, then we will all we will allow you to create content, but we're always going to claim thirty percent of revenue and give you nothing in return. So you could create a podcast as an example, like we do, that has no gameplay footage, and Nintendo will just take a thirty percent cut. And you get nothing in return from Nintendo. Whereas with BBTV, I get access to specific apps that I use through uh, Chrome that help me with my videos and help me work on tagging. I get, um, I, I have one-on-one -on -one personal training right now that I every two weeks I'm in a class that that helps me improve the quality of my videos, the quality of my thumbnails, the quality of my titling. Uh, I have it. I'm in audience growth programs. Uh, I have direct contact with YouTube now. I did not have that before. Uh, but through uh, <laughs> through BBTV, they've gotten me in contact with YouTube, so I can talk to people at YouTube about how to help my videos stop getting claimed by Nintendo or stop getting claimed by X, Y, and Z. Uh, what workarounds I can do with gameplay footage, what workarounds I can do with this, what workarounds I can do with that. But in general, most of my videos are not claimed by Nintendo. The, th the stuff that gets claimed are my live streams. Live streams always get claimed. Uh, and that's fine. I don't really live stream with the intent of making ad revenue anyways. So that doesn't bother me that they claimed it. It's never bothered me. It was never going to prevent me from live streaming Nintendo games. But this is something that literally Nintendo saying no. And because they have an automated system that's claiming my live streams, I actually do worry that eventually Nintendo is going to issue a DMCA strike against my channel. 
uh, because I continue to live stream Nintendo games. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what the future means. I don't know. Just because Nintendo has the power to do this now doesn't mean that they're going to do it. Uh, but the fact that Nintendo is essentially saying, sorry, you cannot live stream, uh, that that sucks. That's a, a shot. And I love you, Nintendo. I want to work with you. I, I want to go to your events. I want to support you. I want to keep showing off your games to the world and showing how much I love them or if I'm critical of them where they could get better. But you're making it harder and harder for that to happen. And it sucks. And I, as much as uh, this makes me want to head on over to Twitch, and we do have a Twitch at twitch.tv.com slash, I think it's uh, Nintendo Prime TV, uh, I, I believe is the URL. I'll have a link to it down in the description. You can go over there, and I'll try to put all of our live streams from YouTube also on Twitch, uh, and maybe even encourage people to go watch us on Twitch more than they watch us on YouTube. I don't know, but this is... Because if I, if I do end up getting a DMCA strike, I am going to have to stop streaming on YouTube. Uh, so... I guess now is the time for me to say, hey, go over and subscribe to our Twitch channel. I'm going to have make sure every single live stream we do here at Nintendo Prime is on our Twitch. Uh, so if the day inevitably comes and I have to switch, you guys will at least already be over on Twitch uh, to enjoy that content. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. I hope you guys are enjoying your SNES classics today your Switches, your 3DSs, your Wii U's, your Wii's, your DS's, your whatever system you happen to be playing on. Uh, if you're emulating, whatever, I don't support it, but if you're doing it, I hope you're having a good time. Love you guys. It sucks Nintendo's doing this, but whatever. What am I going to do, right? I'll catch you guys in the next one.